What's up, guys? It's Epic Realist, and I'm back with another video. Today, I want to talk about changing your mindset. We all know that changing your mindset is one of those traditional things that we hear from people. It's one of those things that people always advise us to do. People are constantly telling you, change your mindset, change how you think, change this and change that, and your life will start getting a little better. Now, to a certain extent, that is true. To a certain extent, like I said. All that is nice and good and all when it's wrapped in one pretty package, like, as if to say, it's that easy. To change your mindset. People make it seem like it's really that easy to change how you think and how you've been programmed and how you grew up. When in reality, that's not true. That is not the case. We've all had some trouble changing how our minds work, I'm sure. We all struggle with that. It's not an easy process. And guess what? Even if you are able to somewhat change your mindset on some things, even if you are, you might not be able to fully act on it. Why? Because of your environment. Your environment also plays a part into how you think and how you're going to react to certain situations. That's always the case. See, I hate when people think that changing your mindset is all, literally all you got to do. Like, okay, one day you just wake up and be like, okay, fine, I want to do this now, or I think differently about this now because this is where I want to go with my life, and oh, it's just so easy to just whisk off. No, it's not easy. I don't know why this positivity movement, I guess that's what I like to call it, makes it seem as if it's so easy to change your circumstances just by thought. It's not true. It's completely untrue. Now, some people would love to argue me and say, oh, that is true. Well, I changed my mindset by doing this. I mean, I changed my life by doing this. That's cool. It's for you. It's good for you. But in reality, changing your mindset is not enough. You can't just change your mind on certain things while you're still sitting in the shit that you were sitting in before. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and start doing this to better my life. But there's other areas of your life that aren't really following oh you see what i mean it's just not realistic it's unrealistic to tell someone that just because they change their mindset means their entire life is going to start changing that's not true you don't know how many years i've been doing that you know how many years i've had to change many mindsets many things i've thought about many uh, preconceptions many brainwashing things that were in my head, many things that were programmed in my head from my parents and the media and other people. Do you know how long it took me to push most of that out? Like I said, most of it. I still struggle with it. But most. Do you know how long it took me to get there? And even at the point I'm at now, it's still not easy. Changing your mind isn't enough. If your environment doesn't match up with your mind, there's only so far you can go. And I'm sure you guys know that because there are plenty of you who try to strive for more. You know, you're in a bad situation, you're stuck. Physically, you're stuck. And you try to change your mind to say, okay, I'm going to start doing this, that, and the other. I'm going to start waking up early. I'm going to eat well. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to even do yoga. I'm going to do everything I possibly can. I'm going to do my affirmations in the morning. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to do everything I can possibly do. And again, there's only so far you'll be able to go with that. Oh, that is true. Oh, that's good. I mean, hey, go ahead. I do it. All those positive things I just I mentioned, I practice. Oh, I try my best to practice um, pretty frequently. But, you know, they do help. But again, they're not going to completely change your situation. If you can't physically get out of your situation, let's say you're stuck physically somewhere you don't want to be, you're not going to be able to get out of it. I mean, that's just how it is. You can try all you want. You can change your entire mindset. You can change everything about how you think. 
But if you're literally unable to move, you're literally unable to move. And that's why I don't understand why people preach that stuff without considering people's different circumstances. Everybody's circumstances are different. People say, oh, go do this, go out and try this. And what if they're not able to? That person might have the money to, that person might have the resources to. Well, go out and try this, go do this class, go take this, go counseling here, go do, you know, anything. Well, that person might be able to do it because they can't reach it, it's unreachable. They can do all the affirmations they want, but guess what? If that place that people are telling them to go to is unreachable, it's still fucking unreachable. There's no amount of yoga that's going to get you there. There's no amount of meditation that's going to get you there, you know? With me, there are only certain steps in my life that I can take to get me certain places. And it's never physical, you know? It's never really a physical thing. Because if you're stuck physically, you're still subjected to everything around you. Like I said, you can change your mind all you want. You can do the best of everything. You can be on point. Going to bed early, eating well, exercising. I've been doing all that. But there are still certain aspects of your life you will not be able to change until your environment fits it. And even that might seem impossible because your environment might never completely be where you want it to be. Because again, it's not realistic. It might not be completely where how you want it to be, and where you want it to be, and all of that. I'm sure the majority of people in America right now are in an interesting situation to where they want to move, where they wish to live somewhere else, or they live with somebody they want to live with, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that's the case. But again, if your environment doesn't match up with your thoughts, if your thoughts doesn't match up with your environment, if everything doesn't work cohesively, there is only so far. You're going to go with your situation. And that's just what it is. So now, when people approach me with certain things, I try my best to debunk everything you're talking about. Because in the past, I did that. I had to do that. And people always looked at me crazy like, why are you always making so many excuses? Look, not everything needs an excuse. If the person is telling you they literally can't reach said thing that you were able to reach, well, maybe they really can. Who says they're lying? Who says they're making excuses? This person might have said, oh, well, when I went to college, I was able to get my degree because, you know, I was able to do this and I did all this on my own, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, that's cool. That's good for you. Not everybody was able to do that. Hell, I wasn't able to graduate from college because I was still in an abusive household. I wasn't even capable of graduating. But that's just an example. That and many examples I've had where I've been trying to tell people certain things about myself and about my life. And they just don't get it because they're not here. They don't know what's going on. If your atmosphere isn't conducive to your mindset and vice versa, you will not go hardly anywhere. And sadly, that's the truth, but we all got situations where America has us trapped in places and situations that we don't want to be in financially. That's just what it is. And it ain't just America, it's other places too, other countries. Everybody's probably dealing with it. You know, a lot of people are in toxic environments. Environments not where, not necessarily the people in your home are toxic, but just the surroundings, everything, you know? The area you're living in. The toxic air you're breathing, the indoor air that goes into your home every day, all of that, it, it plays a part. Your neighbors, you know, the people around you give off auras and energy and all that stuff's in the air. And if you're not around positive people who want to uplift you the way you're trying to uplift yourself, well, how far do you think you're going to get? That's another thing. If you are not surrounded by positive people, if you are not surrounded by people that are uplifting you, it's going to be double hard to go anywhere. Like me. I'm a living witness. I can deal with this shit every single day. My husband and I are the only ones to positively lift one another up. I'm sure you can kind of tell that. I've said that before. But if you don't have people in your life who do that, you're going to constantly appear like you're in a sunken place. Literally, like the movie, um... Not us, but that, that other Jordan Peele movie. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 
you're gonna be in that same place for a long time. And it sucks, it really does suck because today's society, we don't have much help. We don't have enough people uplifting one another. We have people more so tearing us down, our own families tearing us down. That plays a part in your environment as well. Again, your own if your environment is not right, your mindset will not be right and it will just keep going like that. I mean, hey, I've been doing the best I can here with these kids. Trying to stay positive, trying to stay motivated, trying to stay sane, y'all. Y'all have no idea the amount of strength that it takes out of me to be sane every day for my kids. And even with me doing the best I can, sometimes I feel like it's not enough. Because again, I don't have any positive role models around me. I don't have any positive people to aspire to look up to and all that other stuff. A lot of people don't have that. The days of having mentors is practically gone unfortunately so again all that plays into your mindset all of it and yeah that's just what it is so I say still try to do your best so try to do your best even if your environment is not conducive to what your mind wants and vice versa still do your best because if a person is living deep in the hood and they're trying to get a better mindset. That mindset is not going to help them get out of the hood. They got to actually get up and do something. They have to actually get up and do whatever they can do to get out of the hood. And we all know this. People still judge one another based on their capabilities. Because they're not rising out of their situation fast enough. Well, I rose out of it. Why can't you? Your situation is different. I can't see about your situation. You don't want me to know my situation. Stop talking. Period. So I believe that's all I wanted to say about this topic. What do you guys think? Let me know. Write your comments down below. Let me know if you've ever had a problem with this or if you do the same thing. People telling you to change your mindset, be positive and stay happy and do all these other radiant things. Yet you're not able to move because your environment isn't conducive to what you want. Let me know if you, you've dealt with that or you're dealing with that right now. How are you handling it? How should you handle it? Leave any tips, comments, suggestions, all that down below. Make sure you give this video a like. And make sure you subscribe if you are new here. And stay tuned for more videos. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and decade. What? Thank you for watching. Peace out.